In the other episodes, we looked at strategies for taking the PSAT and section-specific strategies. Now, strategies are just one part of taking the test. You also need to know content. And while you can't learn how to read overnight or you know three years of mathematics, there are a few things that you can review that always show up on the PSAT. The first and the most important because it shows up in the writing section and the critical reading section is vocabulary. How do you improve your vocabulary? Some people like to use flashcards. If that's you, we actually have interactive flashcards that are built on the free Brightstorm PSAT package. Another thing that you can do that will probably help you even more because you're not learning the words in isolation is to read reputable publications. I know that you and your friends probably read something like Rolling Stone or Cosmo Girl or ESPN Magazine, and that's great as long as you're reading the articles. But oftentimes they're not really meaty and they don't have really substantial vocabulary. To improve your vocabulary, I'd highly recommend picking up newspapers or things like The Economist that have really advanced vocabulary that's going to show up on the SAT and the PSAT and will help you in school as well. The second content area that you should study if you have time is pronouns. Now, why pronouns? On the writing section, it's very content heavy. This is for the PSAT and the SAT. And lots of grammatical concepts show up, modifiers, parallelism, subject verb agreement. But pronoun reference and pronoun case show up most of all. So if you're stuck and you're not really good at grammar, there are a few things that you can do and studying pronouns is one of them. The third thing that's really important to study and that shows up all over the math section is arithmetic. Now, I know you may say, well, I learned arithmetic in elementary school. Why do I need to learn it? Studying arithmetic is really important because it shows up on more advanced concepts. Like say, for example, you're solving a complicated algebra problem. If you don't know the definitions in the simple arithmetic, you're not gonna get those advanced concepts right, even if you know them. The last and the final thing to make sure to brush up on for the PSAT and for the SAT is either algebra or geometry. Now, on the PSAT, Algebra 2 actually doesn't show up. It will show up on the SAT and the ACT. Actually, the ACT even has trigonometry, which is pretty advanced. But for the PSAT, you're only going to need to know Algebra 1 or Geometry. Usually, students are better at one or the other. So take whichever one you're not as comfortable with, pick up your textbook, and get started. Remember, the PSAT is just practice for the SAT. And whatever you do, you're still going to come out ahead. So while it may be hard to learn all of these content areas, there are a few that you can really focus on when studying for the PSAT. But also remember that it's not just learning the content. It's not like a test that you take in your subjects. You also have to learn to apply it. So make sure after you're done studying all of these content areas to sit down with practice tests and sit down with practice problem sets so that you can really learn to apply this content like it's going to be seen on the PSAT. Mm -hmm.